Try to do a wall flip, pop, back flip. Never actually tried this before, so let's see if it works. So it's currently 3 p.m., which means it's about four hours into this challenge. Already getting tired of backflips. When we start getting into variations and learning like new tricks with my backflips, the first thing I want to try out is relearning my rodeo backflip. It's been a while since I've actually done like a decent rodeo backflip, and I actually missed a trick because it's a fun trick to do. All right, here we go. First rodeo backflip in a long time. That wasn't too bad. Still one more variation of backflips I gotta relearn. It's pretty embarrassing, but round off backflip. Honestly, have not thrown one since like my first year or two of tricking. And the last time I did, I landed on my head. Which did not feel too good. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna throw it. I feel pretty confident I could do a round off backflip. Let me try to pop flash it now. I always see people do round off flash kicks and it looks sick. Oh, okay. That was pretty clean. It's currently 5, I think. 4.30, and it looks like nighttime. It's, I don't know if it's supposed to rain, hopefully not. Anyways, I'm gonna head out again and try to learn some new variations. This whole video is about variations, because like, what else do I do with a backflip? I think we're gonna try to do Rocket Boy, and then also Superman Stall, I think it's called. If you don't know what a Superman Stall is, here's a clip right here of Tanner Witt doing one. It looks absolutely insane. And then here's a clip of Kyle Scully doing a Rocket Boy, in case you don't know that either. What the heck? This is so hard. It's just like the timing, like you have to tuck and then like arch your back really quick. Ah, this is so hard. <laughs> oh my god, that is impossible. What the heck? Alright, the second one we're trying out is called the Rocket Boy. I'm sure you guys heard of this one. I can actually do a variation that's kind of exactly like this, except these two hands. Oh. Is that it? It wasn't really good, but I think that was a Rocket Boy. I gotta try to hold it for like a little bit longer. Wake up. I've lost like all of my explosiveness in my backflips. I feel absolutely like no power. I should have started off the video with variations. I don't know why I'm doing it now. <laughs> I still can't do it. The lowest backflip ever. Okay, that was not that low. Oh. Okay, I am all back flipped out right now. I've been doing this for about five or six hours, maybe. Obviously, I haven't been flipping that long, but that's how long this challenge has been going on. And I'm starting to hate back flips. So I'm going to continue this video tomorrow, and at 11.10, I think it was, the challenge will end. But I think tomorrow I'm going to try to do double back flips into the pool, and maybe do some other stuff. I don't really know. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.
I am very sore. When I woke up this morning, my back was in so much pain. I felt like I was a 60 year old man or something. It is actually 1030 right now. I did promise you guys that I would do some double backflips into my pool. So I think I'm going to attempt some right now. I really do not want to do this, but only another hour, actually like 30 or 40 minutes left of this challenge. So we're going to do some double backflips and be done with this challenge. You guys better drop a like because I do not want to do this. Just back flop so hard. It is 11:10, which means this challenge is over. I honestly have no idea why this challenge made me so sore. Like even after a really long session, like I'm never this sore. I mean, it's mostly like my back, which could be like from all the rodeo backflips I did and like landing like off of the height, but uh, I'm so happy I can actually do other flips now and have a normal freaking session. I mean, it's pretty cool though because I did relearn two variations, the rodeo and then also the round off backflip. And then I also did the flash kick for the first time, the round off flash kick. I don't know if it's just me, but like I never do backflips like ever. Like I may throw like maybe three every session. I barely ever do them. Uh, I feel like most triggers are like that. Like once you learn a backflip, you just just barely ever do them because they're so easy to do. But I may do this challenge again with another flip in the future. It's kind of fun because if you spend all day doing a trick, obviously you're gonna improve on it and learn other like variations of it. Like I'm sure if I did double fulls for an entire day straight, I'm sure they would improve dramatically. I actually kind of want to do that now. It's not a bad idea. But if you guys are struggling with the trick or you just like are kind of scared to do a trick, literally just spam it for an entire day straight. This is like the best way to improve your flips. You're probably gonna be a little sore after it, but it's definitely worth it. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like. Let me know what flip you like to see with the 24-hour challenge next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.